All right, this morning we're talking about yoga. Whether you are a total novice or a bendy pro, the United Nations recognizes it as a transformative practice that's both good for your mind and body. Yeah, so and lucky for us, the Portland area makes it quite easy to find a yoga class to add to your fitness routine. Joining us now to go over the benefits and to show us some poses, we have Michelle Benikoff, a yoga teacher at Lifetime Beaverton. Good morning. Good morning. Appreciate the time. Absolutely. Okay, so you're going to take me through um, a, a not very bendy person through some uh, yoga moves yes. here. But even though I, I am definitely on the novice side of being a yogi, still some huge benefits to yoga. What are some of the big ones? Absolutely. So the biggest thing I think with yoga is focusing on bringing the spine back to a healthy state, right? Mm. We spend a lot of time, whether you're texting or even just driving in your car, sitting at your desk, mm -hmm. um, we end up kind of stretching out our back muscles like and tightening our front line. So any type of yoga, whether you're looking to be super physical or a little bit more restorative, is going to help bring you back to that natural state. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Maybe if I'd been doing a little more yoga going into the weekend, my spine would be feeling a little more aligned. <laughs> a little bit of a tight back. Ready to go. Well, normally yeah. we would love to join you guys for yoga, but I'm going to be stationary, and uh, we're going to see how Travis does today. Okay. All right. Put me to the test here. Yeah. You got some right. stuff to show us? Yeah. So get on your mat, Travis. Okay. We'll start just on our hands and knees. This is my favorite way to warm up because you really have access to all movements of the spine. Okay. So we're just going to start with some cat cows. You're going to take a big breath in, drop your, drop your belly, and then lift your oh. chest to your tail. Yeah, super nice here. Take a big breath in. Maybe you close your eyes for a moment. And then exhale. We'll press the earth away. This is cat pose. You're rounding your back. And cat, po cat cow is one of those things that, you know, you're on hands and knees. You don't have yes. to feel like you can, you know, be upside down and bend yourself into That's a handstand. To exactly do. right. <laughs> so we're just going to start with a few movements here. And then if you're feeling good from your tabletop, kind of the next place that I would go, I was tucking my toes here and then exhaling back to downward facing dog, keeping a big bend in your knees, just opening up through the chest, the shoulders here. Oh. You might, yeah, pedal out through your knees, <laughs> feeling your hamstrings and glutes. And again, if I come here some mornings, I just don't have the energy to sustain and I'll come back to a tabletop and work my poses from here. Oh, oh nice. man, yeah. that feels great. I was yeah. going to say, I heard some sounds of a good morning there, stretch It's good. There. Is yeah. it okay, like, I mean, if like the back pops a little bit, like is that natural? That's yeah, normal... so that's just air releasing from the joints, and okay. that's totally normal. Sometimes it feels good, and I would just lean into that. I say, it felt, felt good to me. Yeah, yeah, so from there, I'd probably start opening up my legs a little bit more, either from that down dog or tabletop. Let's start on the left side. So take your left leg up. See if you can find some extension there through your heel. And then as you exhale, step your foot through, finding a lunge here. Yeah. And then same thing here. We can move a little bit more dynamically, bending both knees. And then exhale, cat lunge, lifting your hips. And you can feel, right, those oh, tight, Oh, I can't do what you do. Yeah. <laughs> so we just move through as much as we can, right? And then the next shape that I would go to, and again, this can be done from the knee or from both feet, is I would press that back foot or knee down, and I would open up to a warrior two. Oh, so oh, either yeah. from oh, here or from your back foot. I didn't know that warrior two had a variation yeah. done on your knee like that. And that that's probably my easier. favorite thing about yoga is it's really for everybody, uh -huh. everybody. That's here cool. we're going to extend through the arms, light up the shoulders a little bit. You might bend into this knee a few times just kind of exploring that inner thigh. There you go. And then you're starting to build some fire, right? A few breaths here and you're gonna feel have it to, in that thigh. I have thigh. to go into my teacher oh, training, I'm sorry. This there way? You go. Open up the chest. Teacher there training. Go, oh, yeah. Yeah. There we go. It takes a village. <laughs> so from here, we take a big breath in and then exhale. We're gonna ground the hands back down. Let's see how plank pose feels for you, Travis. Oh, Step I your foot back. Okay. And then we're just gonna build some heat here. Now plank is another one. The knees can come down if you're still building that strength, keeping your spine in alignment, engaging your core. Mm. This is such a great place to strengthen literally your whole body so that you just feel a little bit healthier moving through your day. Yeah, well, yeah. I, mean, you can tell, I mean, again, like I am a novice, but even at this basic level, like you can go through these and get the, the benefits of these movements, even 100%. if you're not a, a full-fledged yogi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I guess my biggest pitch would be that Whatever you're looking to do day to day, whether you're looking to build strength and hold things like plank or warrior two, mm -hmm. or you're looking to calm your body mm -hmm. and your mind a little bit more, maybe a restorative class is exactly where you'd want nice. to go. Nice. That's Something great. Something for everybody. Yeah. Nice, fun uh, flavors, whatever you're in the mood for, there is a yoga workout for you. There sure is, yeah. Well, Michelle, you teach at Lifetime. I so teach at Lifetime. Where and can folks go to learn more about the classes there? Yeah. So you can go to our website. You can go to our app. You can 
message me on Instagram. I'd be happy to nice. talk to you personally. My favorite class to start with is something like Soul, uh -huh. which is where you're finding a little bit more guidance from your teachers. That's Fantastic. great. Um, but we have restorative classes. We have Aurora classes, which are particular for well, our can, older uh, yeah, um, all community. Yeah, kinds of good stuff. Check yeah. it out at lifetime.life slash beaverton to learn more and get your yoga in today, everybody.